JSOX has launched the FlipGo, a dual screen monitor that could be the perfect way to play 3DS games. For those unfamiliar, let's have a quick history lesson. When it comes to 3DS emulation, the emulator of choice, Citra, has a neat little option under screen layout where you can set up which screen is output to where. The idea here is to output the main screen to the FlipGo's upper screen and the touch screen to the lower screen. How plausible is that? Well, my friends over at Overkill reached out to let me know they have actually got this running. And judging from the sound of it, it works pretty well for 3DS. The only downside is DS emulation isn't quite as simple as 3DS when it comes to where the screen goes. So if you're using a DS emulator, chances are you're going to have to sit around and configure it a little bit. So let's talk about what this thing is. The JSOX FlipGo is a dual screen portable monitor that's compatible with Windows, Mac and Linux. So yeah, if you want to output a Steam Deck screen to the device, that option's there. Brightness also comes in a 400 nits for the 13 inch model, which incidentally is 100 nits brighter than the original Steam Deck and 100 nits duller than the ROG alloy. Meanwhile, the 16 inch model matches the ROG alloy with JSOX going with 500 nits for the larger version. As you probably guessed, the size of the FlipGo varies depending on which version you end up picking up. The 13.5 inch version weighs 161 kilograms and comes in at 17.48 inches by 12.8 inches. That's when it's fully open. On the other hand, the 16 inch version weighs 1.6 kilograms and opens up to 18.35 inches by 14.46. The idea behind the models, according to JSOX, is to offer up screens for when travelling, the way less, and larger screens for when you're working. Or gaming, obviously. Both screens rock a resolution of 2.2K and 200 ppi. The smaller model uses a native resolution of 2256 by 1504 at 60Hz, while the larger version utilises a wider resolution of 2260 by 1600. That, again, is at 60Hz. Both models also make use of a 3 to 1 aspect ratio. For work and older emulation, that's fine. For newer gaming, you are going to need to tweak settings a little bit to get it to fit. I'll also stick the pricing up on screen for anyone who wants to see it now. As is the case with these type of things, there's always several models and several different price points. The cheapest version comes in at $379, while the most expensive comes up at $699. It's also worth noting, Super Early Bird and Early Bird always sells out quick, so be expecting to pay the crowdfunding or the official website price. Is the FlipGo worth it? One thing I will say is I am intrigued, that's for sure. Portable monitors can be hit and miss though. I previously got sent a portable monitor from Uperfect and it was fine. It wasn't anything special and I ended up going back to a regular monitor within a few days. That said, JSOX does have a good reputation when it comes to quality. And if there are ever problems, chances are they're going to fix them. I've seen multiple posts from people complaining about certain things and JSOX often steps in to fix it. I've also reviewed a shed load of JSOX products over the years and so far I haven't had any problems myself. As for the screen, that's where things are the most interesting. DS and 3DS on a giant screen is going to be cool, especially if you can output both screens to separate screens, if that makes sense. Both DS and the 3DS utilise a two screen setup, so being able to output to them is kind of cool. The FlipGo could also be a solid accessory for retro gaming fans who want a second screen in general. If you're interested in learning more, I'll put a link in the description to the Kickstarter page, feel free to check that out. And if you do pick one up, be sure to let me know in the comments what you think of it. In the meantime, JSOX has told me I should be receiving my review unit before the end of March, so expect a review in early April. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like, and if you'd like to subscribe, that would be awesome. Until next time, see ya.